Firefighter. That just sounds like a fucking bland title for a game. But that is what today's review is going to be. Firefighter was developed by Teeny Weeny Games. <laughs> Why don't they just call it Micro Venus Games? <laughs> Fucking Christ. And published by Mindscape. It was released on the Game Boy in 1992, but did not have a United States release. It was mainly just a European release. So the game is actually pretty basic to understand. As you can see, it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer with a little bit of shooting aspect, where you play as a firefighter who must rescue babies and people from burning buildings. You will put out fires with your hose, which will allow you to proceed past and save babies and all that shit, picking them up and returning them to your truck. You will not only have to avoid fire, but other various things that can harm you such as a jack-in-the-box, toy soldiers, and more. You can kill them with your fire axe. Now that doesn't make any fucking sense. If I'm going into a burning building, these toys are not gonna fucking come to life. What is this fucking the puppet master? Toy Story? Fucking... I don't know. Come on. This is fucking retarded. Okay, it's not. It's part of the game. I get it. Now, of course, there are some enemies out there that cannot be killed, like ringing phones, mice, and other goofy shit, which kind of pisses me off. It's like, if you can kill some, but not all, that's just being a fucking prick. Also, you can go up and down stairs, elevators, and so on, and if there is a fire or an enemy in the way, they can hit you, and you are basically fucked. So, there are some moments in this game that are just out of your hands, basically. Unless you time when you go up the floor, down the floor, and so on. On, which is probably something you could do if you use your brain a little bit. Now there is some sort of timer. It is one that fills up when more and more fire shows up. If the bar fills up completely, you lose a life. There are times this game is frustrating and maybe it's me. Maybe I suck at this, but holy shit, it's on the frustrating side. The graphics for Firefighter for being on the Game Boy and a handheld having limitations, it's actually pretty damn nice looking. The animations are great. Obviously the game isn't in color unless you play it on a Super Game Boy, but there's really no glitching, no slowdowns or anything like that. And that's really nice. The detail of the levels are quite nice as well. Nothing to say bad here at all. I'm quite impressed. The music, nothing mind-blowing, but it's well composed and nice to listen to. Although during gameplay, it's basically the same music over and over and over again. There is different music between each level and so on, which is fine. The title screen has a nice little bit of music and of course the high score screen too. But other than that, it's nothing that I'm going to remember 10 years from now. The sound effects are nothing special, but are good. You have what sounds like the hose and of course it's spraying and all that type of shit, jumping noises and so on. When it comes to the controls, I'd say they are good. Getting used to the layout is something that might take a little bit, especially when you are aiming the fire hose. You can get the fire on the ground or the fire that's up higher. Jumping and moving is responsive. You can actually jump high enough to avoid certain hazards, obstacles, and so on. Picking up people is easy, as well as collecting more water or fire axes. Really, at the end of the day, there's nothing I can say bad here at all. Firefighter is a bit of a tough game and sometimes unforgiving, but I think it's all about timing movement. And maybe I'm just dog shit at the game, it's not bad at all. It just takes a little bit getting used to and planning out how you're going to do everything in a certain amount of time and of course doing it at a certain pace. The graphics are nice for a handheld game, the music is enjoyable as well as the sound effects and the controls. While it may take a moment or two to get used to them, they are responsive. And you know this is definitely an interesting platformer and I guess you can say it's kind of like a puzzle game. Of course with the whole figuring out where to go, avoiding obstacles, collecting people in fear of burning alive and so on. Even though I was frustrated at times, and as you can see in the footage, I'm dog shit. I can't hate this game at all. I just need to get better. Now, if you want to pick up the game for yourself, there is a copy on eBay for $69 and another for $32.89, and really those are the only copies I've seen. Basically, if you want to play this for yourself and you don't want to pay those prices, you can use Game Boy emulation and play it right now. And it's kind of a damn shame for those that don't emulate that they're not going to try a game out like this, but maybe you can just put your hatred aside and give the damn game a try. There is no sequel to Firefighter, but there are a variety of other firefighter games out there. Some are simulators, some are action games, and more. And of course, I'm sure I will check out those at a later time. I hope you enjoyed this review of Firefighter on the Game Boy. Thanks for watching.